Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Tuesday, the 6th day of January. Here we go. Today a halacha about, and this will be great for the cold weather that's descending on upon a lot of us, so what if it happens that it's Shabbos and you have a nice uh, fireplace going in your living room and uh, when you open the front door of your home, it's very near the fireplace and uh, the wind from outdoors is just going to fan the fireplace and uh, is it okay for you to open that front door on Shabbos and have the wind fan right onto the fireplace if that's your situation? And the answer is no. It's you're not allowed to do that because that would be helping the fire that that'd be mavir it would be like you're helping the fire increase because your front door is very near the fireplace if it is only if it is and you know that it'll directly increase the fire in the fireplace when every time you open that door on Shabbos then that's a setup that you don't want to have happen um, on Shabbos in your home because that's what we would call a psik resha. Psik resha is that technical term in halacha for when you cut off a chicken's head, you can't say, oh, I didn't realize it was going to die. <laughs> it, it just dies when you cut off its head. So if you open the front door, you just know that that's going to, if you know that it will cause the fireplace to be fanned, then in that situation, if that's the situation, then you would not be allowed to have such an arrangement on Shabbos. Now, what about the opposite? Let's say that's not your situation. But the situation is that the door is um, open and everything's fine and the fireplace is not, I didn't fan it and it's just open, but when I close the door, maybe I'm going to be guilty of uh, machabe because I'm going to help the fireplace go down a little bit in its strength when I close the door. So that we do not say. We don't consider that to be a situation because that's not as direct. It's not like when you close the front door instantaneously, you're directly making the fire go down. That's not typically the situation. Uh, oxygen is still available to the fire, and when you close the door, it's just that uh, maybe, you know, down the road, there'll be less oxygen available to the fire. But bottom line is you would be allowed to close the front door of the house um, without thinking of any problem happening. Uh, next question, similar but not the same. What if a person's going to open the front door of his house, and this actually applies in our home, and when you open the front door on a Friday night, the front door is only about within 10 feet of where the thermostat is. So when I open the front door of the house, I'm letting in cold air, and that could uh, be affecting the thermostat in the general heat setting of the house. So is that a problem? Can I not open my front door on Shabbos because it's going to cause the thermostat to be affected? Now, I hope you're not going to say that I'm going to say this answer based on our home situation. But no, uh, I saw this in Rabbi Ribiat's halacha book, and he says that uh, you do not have to worry about th that situation, not just because of my house setup. He said the reason you don't have to worry about it is because, first of all, it's not certain. When you open the front door, you don't see certainly that your thermostat is going to be directly affected. And secondly, it's not intentional and it's not instant. It's just not that direct an activity that the front door of your house being open will um, for sure affect your thermostat and make things uh, happen. It's all delayed and everything. So he said you do not have to worry about it. However, if a person deliberately says, uh, and, and this is their plan, they go, it's very very uh, cold in the house. Um, and what I want to do is I want to actually open the door and let in more cold air on purpose. I'm going to chill down the whole living room so that where the thermostat is, so that the thermostat will pop on on this Friday night and thereby heat up the rest of the house uh, more. That's something you're not allowed to purposefully do, to, you know, on purpose cause and try to get cold air to come into the house to make your thermostat go on. That's the kind of activity you should not find yourself involved in. But regular, ordinary opening up of your door to go in and out, which could indirectly affect a thermostat, that is something that you do not have to worry about. Hope that didn't sound confusing. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.